dawn in Rangiora. Today, this growing town, just 29 kilometers north of Christchurch, will provide the starting grid for a great race. So this is the great Rangiora race. As we try to cut emissions and as satellite towns grow around Christchurch, we're testing the three commuter options. We've got the Tesla, we've got an e-bike, and, we're going, and I'm going to be on the bus. And we're going to see which one's the quickest. And I think my bus is here now, so I better go. The starting grid is White Street in Rangiora. Our finish line is the press building in central Christchurch. We set off on the 28 kilometre course at 8.05 a.m. John Heyman is in a Tesla, press editor Kamala Heyman is on an e-bike, and I'm on the Express 91 bus. The rules are simple, follow all the laws of the road and negotiate rush hour traffic to get to the finish line first. After weaving our way out of Rangiora, we all headed southeast down Lineside Road, with Kamala using the 8km cycle track that runs from Rangiora to Kaipoi. This chunky piece of transport infrastructure, which took five years to build and cost $290 million, has transformed the journey into Christchurch from the north since it opened in December 2020. The multi-lane motorway has a separate landscaped cycle track that weaves along the 18-kilometre route into Christchurch. All was pretty smooth sailing for John and I on the motorway as we cruised towards Christchurch and the finish line with ease. It seemed like there was no stopping us, and Kamala didn't stand a chance on the cycle track, where she was busy making friends. You have to go. Uh -huh. John and I weren't making friends, but we were part of the commuter rush. A daily average of about 14,000 vehicles use the southbound route during one week in May, and since January, the 91 bus service has averaged about 1,300 morning passengers a month, with the figures trending upwards. And then Kamala joined the dedicated cycle lanes that run into town along the northern corridor. John and I were still cruising along the motorway, enjoying the light traffic and the new smooth surface installed to reduce noise earlier this year. But Kamala could have a chance to catch up, because things got a bit stickier for John and I once the motorway ended and we joined Cranford Street. My bus would occasionally squeeze past the traffic thanks to the bus lanes, but John was stuck. As Kamala raced along the cycle lane, John was already in town and closing in on the finish line. As my bus hurtled down Manchester Street towards the press building, I could see the finish line as I passed Gloucester Street. I dashed towards the finish line with my hopes alive. Had I beaten the car? Alas, no. The car had beaten me by just seven minutes. John's journey took 24 minutes, my bus journey took 31 minutes, and Kamala's e-bike took a leisurely one hour and 13 minutes. But we all met at the finish line. I don't know. Hour and 10 or so. Very quick. How was it? So good.